Um, I'm making this video and I'm going to be adding on to it throughout the next week or so because I just want to document the experience of teaching my first VIP Kid class. Um, I have been with VIP Kid for two weeks now, um, but I haven't taught any classes yet. That's because in my opinion, the hiring process, there was a lot to it, um, mentally and literally physically, um, having to get things prepared. So when I applied and basically passed the first time, because you just fill out information <laughs> and, um, then you just move on to the next part, which was the interview, I took almost a week to book my initial interview because I was so nervous. Um, and then I ended up doing the online version of it. it. Took a couple of days to find out. And then I took another week to actually schedule my mock class, which was with an actual VIP kid teacher acting as the student. And I prepped for that. So after I heard back on that, I took a few days to upload all of my stuff, um, my teaching certificate, my degree, I took the TESOL class, which is totally, for me, voluntary because I already have a teaching degree, um, making my intro video, taking my profile picture, just making sure that my bio was good to go, and then I went out of town for about a week. And then I came back and took the weekend off to relax. So long story short, I took a while to actually open bookings. And I feel like the main reason I did that is because I was really nervous to teach my first class. But I'm thinking long term. Long term, I want to teach an hour or two. I, I can't tell you what my schedule is going to be once the school year starts or how often I'm going to be able to do it because I don't want to burn myself out with VIP Kid and teaching um, third grade full-time so I'm just taking gonna take it day by day but my long-term goal I saw myself in my head working one or two hours before going in to teach third graders um, teaching and then coming home working out getting dinner done and meal prepping on the weekends taking the weekends off and then starting the week again with that same schedule. Um, having to be very organized with all this and being able to fit in all this stuff while still having a life. So I started getting nervous about that and nervous about my first class and I just thought, I just need to open up my bookings. So I opened up my bookings yesterday. I opened up 5 a.m. to 7 a.m um, my time Monday through Friday. So that's four classes and it could start at five, five thirty, six, six thirty, and then be done by seven because that's ideally what I want my schedule to be in during the school year. I've heard from a lot of people just open up so many different times, um, to just get a few bookings and then get those reviews on your profile and then people will find you easier. I was not expecting to get bookings my very first day. I honestly thought I was going to go these next two weeks with no bookings, if not more. Um, I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that I will only have these two classes filled. Um, I've opened up classes for this week and for next week. And my two bookings I got last night right before I went to sleep were for next week. Um, one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. So I do have a little over a week to prepare for those classes and part of me really wants it to stay like that and I don't want to get any more classes. But like I said, I my long-term goal is to work up to um, 20 classes a week, which is four classes a day, which is two hours of teaching, if I can. Um, so I just opened up my classes and saw I was just going to take it how it comes. So I think that if you're nervous to go through to the next step, I think you just have to do it. Um, I don't think you can be 
I don't think you can be too prepared, but I think you can be too cautious. It's easy to sit here and watch videos on YouTube about people being VIP kid teachers or watching Instagram or watching the videos that VIP kid um, provides. It's super easy to do that and to take notes and to feel, yeah, I got this. But when it's all said and done, you're literally just sitting there. You're not wasting time because I think it's valuable time. But if your goal is to teach and to make money and to meet those kids, the only way you're going to do that is to open up your bookings. So I just did it and I have two classes coming up. One is with a seven-year-old um, in level two and one was one is with an 11 year old uh, level three. So this next week I'm going to be prepping for those two classes. Hopefully they don't get canceled because I would like to get some classes under my belt. Um, and if I get more classes booked um, between now and then, that is okay too. I will just take it day by day. But I wanted to just film this video. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the prep that I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to do this for every single class, um, videotape it and show you guys how it goes, but I do want to share and document my feelings and the whole process of preparing for and teaching my first class or two. I don't know if I'm going to talk about both. I'm obviously not going to film me teaching it because um, I want to be in the moment with my kids, but I do want to share my um, reactions and feelings. So right now I'm excited and nervous, but I'm thankful that I have a week to prep. But look at this cute little shirt. Now I do have my VIP kid t-shirts in here and I plan on keeping them in here and just wearing them when I'm teaching. So I just have this orange one that I got from Michael's. It's extremely bright, but I love it. Um, and I got this one from teacher Heather over on Instagram and I got it in long sleeve because I love long sleeves. Um, and I got it a little oversized so it can be a little baggy. I know it looks like I'm wearing it right now. But it has dino and it says Teacher Jennifer. So that's going to be really cute. I'm definitely going to wear this for my first class that I teach. Um, I definitely go overboard with teacher t-shirts if you haven't seen my Instagram or my YouTube videos. I actually have a YouTube video all about my teacher t-shirt collection, but um, with VIP kid t-shirts, it's more of a uniform um, because you can't wear, like I can't wear things like this. Um, it's like a graphic t-shirt. They just want plain clothes um, or I can wear things that are VIP kid related, like it tells you my name. Um, but I got it because that was my reward to myself for um, getting hired with VIP Kid. So I don't know if I'm going to get another one to celebrate me teaching my first class or if I'm going to wait. I do know that after a few months um, I do plan on upgrading my computer, but that's like a big goal. So that's my thoughts on this video. So if you end up watching this whole thing, let me know at the end of this video, but I feel like it's going to be a long one and I apologize, but I just think it's important to document the very beginning steps of this journey. So I'm excited. So update on the progress of me prepping. I ended up purchasing level two and level three flashcards on Teachers Pay Teachers and I actually have decided just to print them by the lessons that I'm on. So I have two bookings next week and I decided that it was level two. So I printed out the generic level two ones and then it was um, unit six. So I printed out all the level two unit six um, flashcards on cardstock and then I cut them out and then I laminated them and I looked through the PowerPoint and the class was canceled, <laughs> which is definitely okay. It's fine. Um, I've heard that the summer 
is lower in bookings, especially for brand new teachers to VIP kids, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, my level three class is still scheduled for me to teach, however, the lesson has changed three times, and I'm not sure why. Maybe when they booked, they didn't have any classes before me, so then maybe they added on other classes and that just put them in a different spot. Um, so I am doing a unit assessment, which I've never done before. So I am still going to be printing out flashcards. Um, I've watched through a couple other teachers teaching, not teaching, but like giving that exact unit assessment. Sometimes, not all of the time, but sometimes um, when I go to the class materials, it has a video of someone teaching that lesson, and it's because it's had over five different Five Apple reviews. So that's good. So I watched that. I'm not as nervous as I was. I feel like um, the teachers here on YouTube, um, they are very good. I just feel like they're a little overwhelming and they have a lot of props and a lot of energy. And when I saw the actual lessons being taught for the specific lesson I'm teaching or one I saw was a unit assessment, I didn't feel as overwhelmed. I'm like, okay, it's normal. It's mostly TPR, so acting things out. Um, they didn't have a whole ton of props and I, I don't know if it's because it's a level three and I'm used to level two um, with my practice. But it's just really relieving, so I think that with my um, flashcards and my whiteboard and just TPR, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. So I'm actually getting excited to teach this class. Hopefully, it doesn't get canceled. But if it does, that's okay because I I have to take my time and just use this to do workshops. Which brings me to another thing is I have been watching videos on YouTube, which those have by, by far been my favorite ways to prep and just learn about VIP Kid, which is why I'm sharing my experience here on YouTube as well. Um, I do follow people on Instagram. I don't really do the Facebook communities. I'm not a huge Facebook person, but I actually scheduled three different workshops this next week. So on Sunday, I am taking just the new VIP Kid Teacher workshop just because I am a brand new VIP Kid Teacher and I feel like that's really helpful. And next week on Monday, I am taking uh, unit assessments. So a workshop on how to make unit assessments um, more engaging and just how to teach them in general, which will be good because I'm doing my unit assessment on Wednesday if it doesn't change. And then Monday, I'm also doing an overview of level three, which is good because I feel um, like I don't know as much of level three. There are a few certifications that are open that I can take if I want to. Um, one of those being the advanced TESOL, TESOL um, certificate. I have the basic and foundation one. Um, I can also certify for trial classes in level three and I can also certify for level four. I do plan on sticking with the older students just because that's where my background is that I prefer. I teach third grade so the level two that was scheduled he was seven and the level three that I have scheduled next week is 11. So I'm pretty um, familiar with that age level. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing pre-VIP Kid anytime soon. I could change my mind and add that down the road. But I definitely want to do the trial certification after I teach at least one class. And I eventually want to certify it in level four. So those are my goals with VIP Kid. Um, I don't have any like monetary goals. I am doing VIP Kid as a way to supplement my teaching income, but honestly, um, I'm literally gonna put every single paycheck into savings since 
part of it you have to save for tax purposes anyways but I'm just going to build up my, sa my savings as much as possible so I don't really have a monetary goal I would like to teach one to two hours every morning Monday through Friday if I can um, now realistically I'm not sure if that's possible because I am still going to be a full-time third grade teacher and that alone takes up a lot of time so I'm just going to take it day by day so um, all I'm going to really do to prepare for that class my first class is to just take those workshops and continuing prepping as many um, flashcards as possible thankfully I have, I have HP instant ink so if I run low on ink they should be mailing it to me so hopefully if I don't uh, try to prep too much at a time I'll have enough ink to last me through it so that's what I'm going to do be doing um unless I prep anything else for these upcoming classes I think I'm just going to check in with you guys after my first class that I teach next week on Wednesday at 5 a.m. in the morning fingers crossed that it is the unit assessment because I do feel like I am prepared to teach it um, but bigger fingers crossed that this student doesn't cancel because I really want to start teaching because I think it would be a lot of fun so this is the state of my classroom right now I have seven classes right now that I am trying to prep for I'm focusing on my classes for this week first because naturally those ones tiny bit more important because um they're happening sooner rather than later so I'm just cutting things out um I had two workshops today. I look super tired. <laughs> Again, it's summer and I'm not wearing makeup. Oh. I had two workshops today. One was unit assessments, which was really helpful because on Wednesday I had my first unit assessment. And the second one was level three overview. Now, my very first class was going to be a unit assessment, but last night I had a level two student um, book my class. So that's really exciting so it can go either one of two ways one i do a great job because i'm definitely feel more prepared for level two or two they cancel but it's in less than 24 hours away so even if for some reason it gets canceled i still get paid for that one so hopefully it doesn't get canceled because i'm really excited to start teaching even though i'm still i'm nervous but David went to go pick up some coffee because I wanted yet another iced coffee. Um, if you notice, it says medium on here and they accidentally gave me a large, so I'm not complaining. Um, and they didn't give me a straw, which is fine because I just used a reusable straw. And yeah, so I'm just sitting here cutting things I'm about to laminate. Um, I made... Um, a card for my first lesson tomorrow. I'll go more in detail over that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to film and what I'm going to edit together, but I'm just trying to film as much as possible. So I'm just going to continue doing that. It's a lot of work, guys. This is a lot of work, and I'm very glad that I started in the summer, but I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm doing too much prep, but is that just like the teacher inside of me? Like the type A teacher where I want everything perfect and ready to go at the very beginning, maybe. Um, but I feel like once I put in all this work in the beginning, hopefully it'll pay off because normally it does. At least in the brick and mortar classroom. Get all the work done in the beginning and then kind of slow down as you go. So, um, I'm going to continue working. so tomorrow is the day that I teach my very first class um, I just want to share with you how I set my classroom all up this is the shirt that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow unfortunately um, the person I bought this from 
is no longer making this design, but I got this from Teacher Heather over on Instagram. Um, this is my background. It hasn't changed since my mock class because I haven't really seen the need to do it. There's like a mess down there. Don't have time to make it clean. I have my iPad plugged in, charging, just in case I have any IT issues and I need to switch to that for teaching. I have, these have to go downstairs, but I have water, my glasses, um, a notebook so I can take notes for when I leave feedback. I have a mouse. I have my reward system. My reward system is just on magnets and they're going to earn cookies. So that's what I plan on doing for that. Um, I have a little cheat sheet for the lesson already written out. I have all of my flashcards ready for this lesson. I have my headset, I have my color wheel, I have my pronoun flashcards for this lesson. I have my verb conjugation um, form. I have my sight word, I have my phonics, and then I have Meg and Mike ready to go. I have my computer, it's shut down, but I made a camera cover so when I enter the classroom, um, before we officially start, they're not staring at me, they're actually looking at something else. And yeah, that's it. My classroom is not perfect. There are parts of this room that are still very messy and not organized, but you just kind of have to start. Like that area, I plan on putting something over here. I plan on using this for prop storage. This is planner stuff that doesn't need to be there. Um, this I eventually want to turn into a filming section for me to sit by. And this bathroom literally has more VIP kid stuff. So, and then that's because this is my guest bedroom. So there's stuff literally all over the place, but I just wanted to get my class ready for tomorrow. So that's my setup and I will check back in after I teach my first class and let you know how it went. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I definitely plan on incorporating a lot more VIP Kid videos on my YouTube channel, but I am not going to stop doing my normal third grade elementary school teaching videos as well. So if you're thinking all she does is talk about VIP Kid, no. Uh, that's just something I'm adding to my YouTube channel because it's part of my life. And if you are here, for a well-balanced version of how I balance my life, VIP Kid is now a part of that balance. So naturally, you're going to see videos about VIP Kid mixed in with my everyday content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy teaching. Bye, guys.